I battle TV, we at Ice Spice birthday party, make some motherfucking yeah. yeah. MC on my left, introduce yourself. The heart of I battle. Homeschool, school with a K, cause you can't CH. God is good, homeschool is weird, battle rap is fun. RIP to my sister Renee. Let's go! Yeah. 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 MC on my right. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Let's fucking go. Make some noise for Soul Khan, yo. Yeah. We already flipped the coin. Homeschool won. It's on Solington Confield. Yeah, what's up, everybody? All right. Soul Khan and homeschool. I thought they're going to love that. Because finally, light skinned brothers are making a comeback. <laughs> Now fuck that. I'm embarrassed that I have to share the card with you. Should have brought your wife along. I can dog whisper. Dis dis <laughs> Disrespectful. You expected me to spar with you? 13 in the temple like a bar mitzvah. Nah. Nah, bitch. You are not my first choice. Other dudes too frightened by Zeus New Lightning. Fuck your cheerleaders here and your YouTube hype Oh, you eye battles hard. Boo, you might been, but bitch, I proclaim this is my domain like Jujutsu Kaisen. Let's go! Let's go! Alright then? No! Alright then? Alright then. See, these gonna be heavyweight rounds, you feel? And I don't see any way how you heal. See, I ain't coming to lose, y'all. I'm Uncle Phil in the pool hall. So, Jeffrey, break out those seals. <laughs> okay, now for real. Bitch battling me, you choose in survival mode And I'ma lose count of every wound I inscribe at home With a knife that looks like it broke off the iron throne Shredding his flesh with so many entries and exits I'm bringing school up to fire code I heard his pen is, I heard his pen is fire though uh -huh. But ain't no truth behind that like the iron dome See, I ain't I don't know why anybody's giving him props because as we already seen, he can dig in his pockets for limitless objects from bottles of glue to gift cards to you. It's like, it's like he's equipped with a cosmic infinity gauntlet of gimmicky dog shit. But if you think that it's hot, let me impart a lesson on how you could harness this artist reference. So just pick a common phrase you know, to start with, and then insert it in your lyrics, reverse engineer it, then try to find a way to awkwardly include a convoluted Marvel reference. Bro. Jesus, go! I am offended that you think that you're an MC too. Motherfucker, MC is not short for MCU. You <laughs> go! Go, legend. But I know there's more you can do, like in your match with the Lipsis. In that performance, you proved you pushed this craft to its limits when you said, it's like the first time I threw a boomerang. I was sort of confused. You thought they'd bring you right back, but you got thrown for a loop. This shit trash. Ah, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Natural analogy. The first time you threw a boomerang. Bitch, that is absolute garbage like the first time I heard Hooba stank. <laughs> it amazes me creatively the fucking depths where you have sank, but to you, I guess that's like the first time you used a scuba tank. Wow. <laughs> Despite them thinking you can hang, the dimensions of your penmanship are roughly equivalent to the number of women you have banged. Y'all know he's never had premarital sex. Zero. Is that embarrassing? Yes. yes. But <laughs> that's a topic of emotional gravity, so I'm not insulting your chastity, but how are you the heart when you ain't pumped inside of multiple cavities? Oh. Oh. Remember! Legend! Remember! Legend! You're the one that told me that I shouldn't ever hold back. Follow me, all you see is a trail of death and goat tracks. You ain't the heart of I battle, and deep down I bet you know that. Man, you just some asshole hanging out. You're the fucking rectal prolapse. Legend! <laughs> Yo! 
Get it together, time to focus. As a rapper, you are hopeless as diagnosing a myothropic lateral sclerosis. I'm playing this ugly picket fence, a bloody pin of red. Man, fuck your little pen. I'm gonna break the hand that holds it. Come on, so there you go. Let's go. Right. On you. Yeah. Yeah. Round one. Right, right. Uh -huh. You versus Diz is the worst battle ever! They, they should have kept it off YouTube. I mean, I ain't stressed by this new you. It's like when they changed Miss Marvel's powers for the TV show. Con, you don't flex like you used to. Now your energy's getting stepped on when I'm making my run. Marvel Bar King. I'm Luke Cage with this one, because I took a shot from an SK and still the danger is none. Your Hanukkah's turn into Dia de los Muertos when the day here is done. Oh, uh, oh, am I speaking Spanish? Soul, I will take you out and make you my son. <laughs> Cause, Cause you told Diz that you be kicking over lawn gnomes. Bro, what do you have against lawn gnomes? You out here bullying little porcelain dudes? <laughs> Is this the energy we want? No. Battle Rap's been saying free surf, and instead we brought a con home? We're not close. But, we're not close, but you'll learn in the end. You once said you'd kill surf. Now that ain't working, my friend. Your name's Noah. If they decide to free the wave, your whole world's gonna end. So we're free the wave. Free the wave. Free the wave. Free the fucking wave. So work to pretend you're about to go viral. You're a powerful rival, but I've learned how to survive you. And since you hate lawn gnomes, I'll make you a garden gnome. A little man in the dirt with flowers beside you. This guy. Oh. 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 Let's go, school. Oh. Let's go, school. Oh. Let's go, school. Oh. Let's go, school. Wow. This guy used to do whole rounds full of gay jokes. Then came out as bi and it was golden. In your last battle, you did a whole round of bestiality jokes. I, I don't like where this is going. Let's quit this groaning about his old material. That was a long time ago and the dudes repented. I kind of find it weird you complain about this when, when pulling files from the past is something you invented. You are the Kobe of using past accusations. Oh, to, to, to complain when we do is an ugly look. Now that your mistakes are all public, for us to use them is nothing good? You're telling me soul doesn't feel so comfy now that the shoe's on the other. Oh, you were always trying to, that was You were always trying to dig up the past and the reason never seemed too clear. We really had to dig up the past to bring you here. We've seen you veer We've seen you veer toward the moral high ground like it's your only kind of option. You want to paint me as problematic? I agree. I'm a problem. You tried to swap from the heel to the moralist and now you're hitting a barrier. We like you better as a comic con. Stick to your character. Okay, go. The, the old you had us filled with laughter. Now I've been sent to kill the cancer that turned this great comedian to a still cadaver. Like Gilda Radner, your skill don't matter. Your skill don't matter. What you built will shatter. I'll leave with your head on a silver platter. I will stretch con way more than necessary. I'm William Shatner. Teach him a lesson. I'm acting out badly. So there was nothing else you could have done. I don't need any kind of bag for you. There won't be enough of you to put in one. Mm. You know, if you were on the spectrum, I wouldn't go near that shit. <laughs> but lucky for me, you're just a fucking weird ass bitch. <laughs> for real. Right. For real. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with his face? I'm not really sure, but we're all here to raise money to fight for the cure. <laughs> your, your lips barely exist, but your chin is abundant. You'd have my size. You'd have.
exist but your chin is abundant. You know, my size knows if you get a reduction, he's thinking, oh well, mm, beauty is only skin deep. Yeah, and your skin is disgusting. <laughs> Listen, you muppet. Are you not remotely conscious of your physical functions? All your fidgeting, fussing, twitching, and huffing? Every battle looks like your first day living in public? <laughs> Always fucking... First day living in public, spin some dumb shit about Christopher Nolan while you walk like you got his fucking fist in your colon. <laughs> tell, bitch, tell, yo, bitch, tell, yo, tell the little men in black alien that lives in your skull and really controls your limb with inner emotion that whenever you spit what you wrote, you look like you play in a frame of invisible bowling. Listen, I'll coach him. Stand up. Put your shoulders back. Has no one ever told you that the part here and below your trap shouldn't be a cul-de-sac? I know. Bitch, I know you can't assume a regular stance and without doing your stupid Mr. Burns excellent hands. Come on. But I got empathy, fam. Uh -huh. per performance got you anxious. Too bad there isn't Duolingo for normal body language. <laughs> what? And I've never even seen a hurt and spit into a beat. So the proof that you a rapper is a little incomplete. You've got the rhythm and inflection of a jittery professor who has given us a lecture on the history of wheat. <laughs> I'll even give this little freak a couple flowers just for once. Your number one defense who haven't showered in a month. It doesn't matter if your punches reach the caliber of Lux, because literally everything else about you sucks. But his confidence has grown. Too much positive. The reinforcement got him feeling endorphins. Now you merely a corpse with him on the cropolis of bones. Oh, I'm shocked there ain't a market for a Protestant Sharon. Bitch, you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked there ain't a market for a Protestant Sharon. You got a place in battle rap, fucking watching it at home. There is obviously so much that home was missing. And now he got his own kids and I hope that he don't expose them to those conditions. He's like, well, homeschooling worked for me. Oh, no, it didn't. <laughs> Fuck. And I'm gonna show y'all while going to school at home's deficient by quoting written from him that I thought were a little exhausting like low emissions. Home. You spit this. I don't care if you back with something sharp. So was Julius Caesar. Sounded like one of my dog's toys before it chews up the squeaker. But Mr. Student Achiever had y'all reacting to that. But as a matter of fact, Julius Caesar was never stabbed in the back. They hit the ribbon, the groin, and additional points in the pattern of wounds. You know where I learned that? A fucking actual school! <laughs> You don't even grasp empirical reason, and you know the interpretation of information, or at least your command of it has clearly been weakening because, in between your excessive references to Stephen King, you said, My sex life is amazing. <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> okay. Okay. I bet that's what you really think. But here's the thing the only person that you fuck is the homunculus that married you. So, oh, you don't know if it's amazing, you have nothing to compare it to. Because your first pussy was your last pussy. So you don't know if it's good pussy or if it's trash pussy. It's data, it's data analysis. He really wouldn't know. Go. I'm sure the same goes for her and your revolting shriveled penis, but a legitimate school would have given you tools to make you know, cats that hole within your thesis, but now I'm gonna put the final hole in them like Jesus. Y'all wanna know why homeschooling blew up in the States? Why? Because white people didn't want schools to integrate. Uh, what? Oh, and that there's a 
a fucking cold truth you can't escape. Your parents' educational decisions are the same as your existence. In other words, you ugly fuck, homeschool is a mistake. Let's go, school. Let's go. Alright, calm down. Y'all hold it down. Round three. No, I was gonna start with the joke about Jewish people and finances, but that's a stereotype, and it would not be funny. But then I found out there's a Hanukkah tradition called Gelt, and it's literally chocolate money. Y'all literally eat money. Bro, bro, I am living right now. You gotta be kidding right now. When Organic said, put your money where your mouth is. That's what, Scoop? When Organic said, put your money where your mouth is, he was like, man, this dude is spitting right now. Sp speaking of nickels, you had guns when you battled Ward. Solcon's got the strap, bro. Stop the cap. You're, <laughs> you're about as sweet as pumpkin pie, and now you're getting whipped on top of that. Stick a fork in him. Full fight! Stick a fork in him. He isn't winning. You thought I'd let you walk through school? Now that permission slipping. I'll get a grip on the fantasy. I'll get a grip on the fantasy in which you're living and bend it till it break in the middle like an intermission. Tell this actor to give it a rest for thinking he came to the right channel. We're too advanced for this relic. You fight the rankings that I battle, you'll get gradually drugged like a slow release pill. It's only right since we're facing a time capsule. You got buried by Diz and Frack, but we've both taken losses, that's right. The difference is when I take an L, the battle is still a watchable sight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the swole Indian guy got the better of me, yeah. but, but, but that was the experience that taught me to fight. I'm Frankenstein's monster. A bodybuilder brought me to life. This was a stitch <laughs> A Frankenstein's monster, a bodybuilder brought me to life. This was a stitch up. Now it gets rough and what you've done gets crushed to dust. I said you're as sweet as pumpkin pie, cause nothing about you is upper crust. You got oh, oh, Let's go school. I said you're as sweet as pumpkin pie, cause nothing about you is upper crust. You got one layer, that's it. You are a struggle for no man, cause you never bothered to upgrade your software and now you're not able to run with the program. I, I am not disrespecting your legacy. You just didn't survive the times. Windows 95 was a huge advancement, but it's still Windows 95. Talk to him! See, guys like, guys like Thesaurus are still relevant because every week they've stayed connected. You've been out of the loop too long to hold an equal place of reverence. Your style's aging worse than you. It only even gains attention because every breath is out of place like a deviated septum. Ooh. Ooh. Talk to him. Every breath what? is out of place like a deviated yeah, septum. septum. I am airing you out in the worst way. Because you're a dead. Oh my god! Come on! Come on! I am airing you out in the worst way. Stay right there! Because your attacks are not logical. It's cool you have a message, but you incorporate it in the least organic way possible. He'd be like, my opponent's name is Frack. Did you know fracking is unethical? That was, that was actually an angle you took. But what the heck are you after? You've got the less than cool swagger of a leftist youth pastor. Listen, listen Bernie Flanders. <laughs> Flanders, you front like even though you're white, you're the hip kind of white. Right. Well, I have none of that pretension. I'm the legit kind of white. Yeah! 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 None of that pretension. I'm the legit kind of white. I mean, that's teasing my food, but you still can't taste it a bit kind of white. 
I mean that seasoned my food, but you still can't taste it a bit kind of what. That going to parties where we just play board games sounds pretty lit kind of what. <laughs> White yeah. as it gets kind of white. Yeah. Taylor Swift's greatest hits kind of white. Yeah. I even got Lex saying, I don't got no coke this kind of white. Yo, <laughs> all right. You said I said that frack fracking shit, but dog, that wasn't me though. But I don't blame you for memory problems. Shit, I saw your battle with Fibo. <laughs> Listen, speaking of your battle with Fibo, that shit you said about your brother-in-law, some of the most powerful shit that I ever saw you write. It was beautiful, which is something that nobody has ever called your wife. <laughs> A bad man. But see, there's a point. But see, here's the thing. I still, yo, yo, hold up. He's married? He's married? Yo, but I still let her practice some oral sodomy so deep she gon' think she had a badly performed lobotomy. But honestly, giving this quality pipe to your goblin ass wife, that's like driving a Porsche to Dollar Tree. Oh, this, <laughs> which reminded me. Which reminded me, which reminded me, a supermarket used to be where he made his cash. I didn't notice that before we made his match, but then I saw a pic of his spouse and I figured it out. You work at that grocery store for the free paper bags. I can't relate to that. Sorry, can't relate to that. Because any room I'm in, usually my lady's the finest. So if we were forced to trade wifeys, I'd be praying for blindness. Christian's been fucking with us. I'm repaying the kindness. Even though your wife's alive, you should donate her to science. Thing is, hold up though. The funny, you know, there's a reason I'm doing this right now. See, I'm not the first to diss his wife. He ain't go escalate it to violence. But you talk through people's rounds. But you're not speaking now. So what I hear the loudest is what you say with your silence. Because while your opponents are rapping, you have a habit of chattering like, mm, no, that is inaccurate. I've never had cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I never had cannabis, my dad isn't Catholic, and I played baseball in college, had a spectacular average. And... <laughs> but when they're insulting your wife, when they're dissing your boo, what does he do? Fucking nothing, like he's back to practicing abstinence. And I'm just fucking with you about your wife. Fucking nothing? Like he's practicing Hold on. I'm fucking with you about your wife. I'm sure she's lovely. I'm just trying to rile you up. See if you might interrupt, because what does get you talking makes you look whiny as fuck. Now see, he ain't the heart of the league, but what part could he be? Well, obviously not the fucking spine of the guts. Oh. It is time to give up. You know which line of you sucks? All of them. But, <laughs> you know, for the sake of time, I'll pick one to recall for them. Now you got a lot of fucking stupid bars and a lot of stupid fucking verses, but this one takes every cake you could fucking purchase. <laughs> I can dodge a tax like a billionaire. You know who dodges taxes? Your stupid fucking churches. <laughs> and y'all be giving back, but not as much as you take by a big margin. And what he does for his nine to five, it plays a big part in. See, the work you do with underprivileged youth is a slick bargain, cause every Christian's mission's got a string attached like Clint Barton. Ooh. And this sharpens a contrast that he ain't understood. You think you helping Jesus save children from the hood. See, you do something good because it's what he worth. When I do something good, it's because it's fucking good! Yeah. Right. You know why I can never be a creationist? Because what kind of decent creator would have created this? <laughs> you look like you would... You would like you... You look like you would fucking sprain your wrist in a fucking game of wrist. <laughs> Yo, you look like you'd sprain your wrist in a fucking game of wrist. Lex built a lot of foundations, and yours is make a wish. Lex. Oh, wow. Yo, Lex. Wow. Stop punching on my pants like that. Yo. Yo. 
All right. Okay. Lex, why is it that he keeps on getting booked? Because in terms of chess, I'd say you just saw a queen just stomp a rook. You believe the make-believe shit that my ancestors wrote, and it rap you a joke. But hey, on the bright side, at least you got your looks. And you know what? No. Oh, God. You acting like I ain't doing shit out here, or age comfortably. But ask Lex honestly, dollar for dollar, which one of us has done more for this league? That's what I'm saying. All right, thanks. It's on Mr. Bars. <laughs> that, was, that was evil. Make some noise for Soul God. Bring it on. Let's go, school. Final round. It's on Randy. Let's go. Let's go, Randy. Round seven. Whoa. Yeah. You talked to Ward about your depression. So let's run that mile. Cause I've been familiar enough a while, a mental disease, the struggle's primal, an illness of mind that numbs the vitals, a hideous thick fog of despair that always makes it tough to smile. I never played Pokemon as a kid, and I still watched my gloom turn into something vile. Yo! I was I was stuck in idle, cause I can push it away but it always seems to keep coming Cause even when circumstances are good, my brain keeps trying to steal from me You know what it's like to get the happiest news of your life and feel nothing? And then when the, and then when the bad news hits, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to do Cause I just lost my sister, Soul Khan Something I never thought I'd be going through Just two weeks ago I had to write an obituary For both of you! You know how- <laughs> ago I had to write an obituary right. for both, both of you. you. You know how hard this is to bring focus to when my entire world's been torn in two? I just buried my flesh and blood in the ground and now I've got to put a soul there too? It's cold and cruel. It's cold and cruel, and I have to live with it. So now my mind's an empty room where all the plaster is missing, cause I've been punching on the walls like Inception when the gravity switches. It's attacking my system. I'm mad and I'm vicious, but like the origin of your menorah candle, somehow my fire hasn't diminished. Cause my, cause my sister may be, cause my sister may be gone and the sadness is vivid, but I know she's with her savior, so it's back to the mission. Cause other people still need help and I'm happy to give it. Uh -huh. See, I'm not ashamed to have this religion. I am happily Christian, cause I've seen God move in ways that don't match superstition. You, you told Ward the Christian mindset is fantasy driven and you're fighting for the world that we actually live in. And that is such a false dichotomy that I cannot envision. The fact that I do believe in another world is the reason I have energy to battle for this one. My, my, my attitudes... My, my attitude's different because I'm living in light. That's why these rounds were numbered one, three, and seven. Because in between writing for you, I've had different fights. Round two was against my depression. Round four was the tragedy oh filling my, my nights. Round five was finally getting a job that's enough to support my children and wife. Round six, I can't even talk about. Just know I was able to get it all right. And I am not about to lose any of this, but it doesn't really matter what I did here tonight, because I already won the other four rounds. I am winning at life. Let's go! I'm beginning to thrive. See, this was never about the bars we wrote. We both have crippling anxiety. But that struggle isn't ours alone. So when we excel at the world's most stressful hobby, that encourages others who watch the show. Don't you understand what this battle is? We are literally the heart and soul. Oh! 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 
Now the body's almost finished, so there's one last thing I need to make known. Soulcon, you are my second favorite battler ever, named Soul. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's fucking gold. Actually, I forgot about Safflare Soul. Sorry. <laughs> you are my third favorite battler ever, named Soul. Hey, it's worth something. Time. Yeah!